Hey guys and welcome back to today's tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do the stem stitch and as always I'm going to show you some examples of how to use this stitch in your work. So the stem stitch is called a stem stitch because it does resemble sort of what a stem will look like so it is a very nice stitch to use for any sort of plants or that you're going to make or flowers so this sort of coral color here is a stem stitch if you purchase the pink pony kit we do use the stem stitch for our stems so down here on this little flower bundle we use the stem stitch to create the stems same thing here and on these right up here in this corner the stem is done using the stem stitch. I'm going to start with tying a knot at the end of our thread and then leaving a tail on the opposite side of the thread. I'm going to just use straight lines as an example for the stitch but you're going to want to start by coming up from the bottom at one of your ends and pulling all the way out you're then going to move forward. For this first stitch, you're going to go forward a little bit longer than you would actually go. So maybe like double stitch length. And then you're going to go in to the fabric. Now, you don't want to pull the thread all the way through. You're going to leave a little loop. And then when you come on from the bottom, you're going to go about halfway back into that space that you left. And then you're going to want to pull all the way through. Now for the next stitch, we're going to just go a regular stitch length forward. And once again, we're going to leave a little loop. And we're going to come back. This time we're going to enter where we left, where we ended our last stitch. And then we're going to want to pull all the way through. And you're just going to continue repeating that while keeping in mind to always keep your loops on the same side. So you don't want to alternate. You just want to keep your loops. If you started with the loops on the bottom, continue doing it that way until you finish. So moving forward one stitch length. leaving our loop and coming in where we ended our previous stitch. Once again move forward a stitch length away, leave a little loop, enter where you ended your previous stitch and pull all the way through. And you could just finish that last stitch in a regular form and then tie off your knot in the back. Let's do the second line again. So for your starting stitch you're always going to want to move forward about double a stitch to leave your room to come in at the middle point. And then you can move forward at a regular stitch length leaving your loop and coming back up from where you ended your previous stitch. So forward regular stitch length and then up where you ended your previous stitch. Go down regular stitch, come up where you ended your previous stitch, leaving a loop and making sure that your loop is always going toward the same direction. And then you could finish off by just doing a regular stitch and tying off your knot. And that is how you do the stem stitch. Again, as always, if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. I appreciate you guys watching and I will see you on the next tutorial.